Jay Goldberg with Seller's Choice. From the wholesale business, the last wholesale business I was in, which is Home Revolution, which still exists today, we started working with our sellers, marketplace sellers, e-commerce sellers, and they were starting to ask us a lot of questions about their strategy, their long-term strategy, their tactical approaches to different things on marketplace, uh, on their websites, and we found that we were able to answer those questions uh, very well and uh, started to offer that service to them on a, you know, on, a, on a free consultation basis for being in our line, extended to starting to charge for them, and then we decided to launch Seller's Choice to actually brand this. We launched here last year at Prosper with that name and opened it up to independent sellers, and it's been a banner year for us. So it, it, it's very, uh, it's all over the place, which is why what, what I lead with when people ask me what seller's choice is, the first word I use is cohesive. So many of these sellers, they've been successful either by having really good product differentiation or product development, or really being good at PPC, or you know doing good, good off Amazon content, starting with their own website and wanting to go onto Amazon. But in, some, in one way or another, by being so strong on one side of the business, they have really not paid attention to the other. And we always talk about building your asset. So while we love Amazon and we love Amazon sellers, we don't think that only having an Amazon strategy is the right approach. You have to redeploy your profits forward, and the best way to redeploy them is off Amazon to build your asset. And you know, many of the questions we answer have to do with, all right, I'm, I'm transacting, Right, uh, I need to track that. I need to grow that on Amazon. But what's my what's my game plan? How do I get there? How do I build an exit strategy? So we say to them, you need to have a, a, a site. We actually have partnered with Shopify, and we tell them that there's a whole process to getting out there, building community, building their own lists, being able to remarket to their lists. Amazon's great for fulfilling their pro for getting their product traction, but for growth. They have to own their community and get better margins and be able to introduce a product in advance to, to a target that's going to understand what you're introducing and maybe even build their off Amazon transacting as well and be able to make more money. Uh, many, many times it's, uh, you know, are, are my listings optimized properly? Uh, how do I get better images? Uh, uh, how do I do, deal with Facebook? How do I move Facebook to uh, to my site? You know, trend, you know, how do I get that sort of traction going between those two, between social and e-commerce, and then back to marketplace? Again, it's all about cohesive. Uh, again, we, we deal with so many different types of clients. What we do the most of these days, we do a lot of PPC on Amazon and off Amazon. We're building many Shopify sites right now. Uh, the challenge they have is that they don't have a way to keep their content in one place and to broadcast it out from one place and to keep a repository of it. So that's a, something that they are identifying with and it's good to see that Amazon sellers are maturing in that direction. Um, again, images are a big sort of tactical ask challenge that they have. They don't want to keep doing photo shoots every month or every other month. So we, we talk about digital renderings Renderings are becoming the thing that are a great ROI because you get to do a digital rendering of a product and later on you can throw it into different uh, you know, uh, scenic stock photographs and be able to place them in different rooms, in different uh, settings, and it's, uh, it's really the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, there's one in particular. It's uh, actually a garden, gardening nutrients uh, seller. They have a physical retail store uh, chain, and they uh, came to us, and their shop, they had a Shopify site. They came to us because their Shopify site wasn't really transacting. It didn't look very good, and the founder, man, you know, CEO, had a vision of unifying. He sells other people's uh, brands right now, and he wants to have his own brand. So he came to us to build the, the uh, infrastructure to be able to do so. So we reset all of his Amazon listings, he went into digital, uh, you know, digital rendered image, images. We started doing PPC for him. When he came to us, he had at about a 26A cost. He's down uh, around 10 now, and that's, he's very happy about that. He's, and he's redeploying those dollars now into 
off Amazon the way he should be, building his asset. And he's about to launch his first five private label products, moving away from, you know, from where he uh, had been, although still selling those other brand products. He's doing the right things all around, and now we're, now we just lost so, launched social for him as well, and his list is starting to grow very rapidly. So you can go to uh, sellerschoice.agency, and um, we're here. There are good forms on there to be able to let us know what you're what you're trying to get more information about, and some of the pain points you have that we can help solve. Mm -hmm.